Hello and welcome to my channel for news about the bold and beautiful intro. Please follow and subscribe for more information. Your friend Eric, is me. Let's begin. In the latest episode of Bold and the Beautiful, viewers witness a distressing week for Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, whose arch nemesis, Sheila Carter, Kimberlyn Brown, is now free. Finns, Tanner Novlin, wife, Steffi, struggles to accept this reality, which is likely to shake her once stable marriage. The ongoing drama continues to escalate as Sheila Carter, along with Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, and Hope Logan, Annika Noel, persist in causing distress for Steffi. The episode reaches a climax when Sheila's release pushes Steffi to her limits. Complications arise when Finn receives news from his stepfather, Deacon Sharp, Sean Cannon, about Sheila's freedom, triggering a series of events that could potentially damage his marriage. Meanwhile, the lack of solid evidence against Sheila in the murder case of Tom Starr, Clint Howard, and Hollis, Hollis Chambers, leads to her release, causing a stir among the characters. Finn's relief at Sheila's exoneration further strains his relationship with Steffi, who remains convinced of Sheila's guilt despite the lack of evidence. The episode ends on a cliffhanger, leaving viewers eager to see how Steffi will react to the revelation about Sheila and how it might impact her relationship with Finn. Get all your daily bold and the beautiful spoilers and news here at Bold and Beautiful Intro and stay tuned for updates on your favorite characters' fates. Steffi Forrester sat at the edge of her office desk, gripping the edges as she processed the news. Her heart raced, and her face flushed with a mix of rage and disbelief. She felt like the walls of Forrester creations were closing in around her. Sheila Carter, the woman responsible for so much pain in her life, was about to walk free. It had been only a few hours since she'd received the call from her brother Thomas. He'd sounded as shaken as she felt now, his voice barely a whisper as he relayed the shocking news. The court had dismissed the charges against Sheila on a technicality, citing a lack of substantial evidence. Steffi had always feared that day would come, but she wasn't ready for it. Not after everything Sheila had done. Steffi rose abruptly, pacing back and forth across her office, her designer heels clicking on the polished floor. Memories flooded her mind, memories of Sheila's manipulations, her threats, her unrelenting obsession with Steffi's family. But the one that burned the brightest was the night Sheila had shot both her and her husband, Finn. That horrific night had changed everything. Finn. The thought of her husband made Steffi's heart ache even more. He had nearly died because of Sheila. The love of her life had been ripped away from her in an instant, and though he had miraculously survived, the scars remained. Both physical and emotional. How could the system fail them like this? Just as Steffi was about to scream out in frustration, the door to her office flew open. It was Finn. His face was pale, his eyes filled with the same disbelief she felt. Is it true? Finn asked, his voice tight with emotion. Sheila's really going free? Steffi nodded, her throat too tight to speak. She could see the anguish in Finn's eyes, the torment that was now resurfacing after months of trying to heal. I can't believe this, Finn said stepping closer to Steffi and taking her hands in his. After everything she did to us, to our family, how could they let her walk? Steffi pulled her hands away and turned to the large window that overlooked Los Angeles. The city seemed indifferent to her pain, the world continuing on as if nothing had happened. I knew it, she muttered. I knew she'd find a way out of it. Sheila always does. She's like a cockroach. Steffi shook her head, tears of frustration forming in her eyes. But she has won, Finn. She's free. What's stopping her from coming after us again? From trying to get back into our lives? I won't let that happen, Finn promised, his voice low and firm. I'll protect you, protect our family. Sheila doesn't have any power over us anymore. But Steffi wasn't convinced. She knew Sheila too well. The woman thrived on chaos, 
on hurting those she claimed to love. Steffi's mind raced with possibilities. Would Sheila try to worm her way back into Finn's life again, claiming to be a changed woman? Would she come for their children next? The door opened again, and this time it was Ridge Forrester who walked in, his face hard with anger. I just heard, he said, his voice like gravel. How is this even possible? How could they let that monster go? Steffi turned to face her father, her lips pressed into a thin line. They said there wasn't enough evidence. The police botched something, and now Sheila's free to terrorize us again. Ridge clenched his fists, the veins in his neck pulsing. This isn't over. We'll find a way to put her back where she belongs. I don't care if I have to hire an entire legal team. I'll make sure she pays for what she did. Steffi nodded, appreciating her father's determination, but deep down she feared it wouldn't be enough. Sheila was slippery, always finding a way to escape the consequences of her actions. As if on cue, Steffi's phone buzzed on her desk. She glanced down and froze when she saw the name on the screen. Sheila. A cold chill ran down Steffi's spine. Why was Sheila calling her? What could she possibly want now? She hesitated for a moment, her heart pounding in her chest, before picking up the phone. Sheila, Steffi said, her voice laced with venom. What do you want? There was a brief pause on the other end, and then Sheila's voice came through, disturbingly calm. Steffi, darling. I'm sure you've heard the news by now. I just wanted to reach out, let you know there are no hard feelings. I understand you were just trying to protect your family. But now that I'm free, I'm hoping we can put the past behind us. Steffi's blood boiled. Put the past behind us? Are you out of your mind? You tried to kill me, you tried to kill Finn. And you think we can just move on like nothing happened? Sheila chuckled softly, the sound sending a wave of nausea through Steffi. Oh, Steffi. You've always been so dramatic. I never wanted to hurt you or Finn. It was all just a misunderstanding. But we're family now, and family sticks together. Don't you dare talk about family, Steffi spat. You're nothing to us. Stay away from my husband, stay away from my children, and stay away from me. If you come near any of us, I swear I'll make sure you regret it. There was silence on the other end for a moment, and then Sheila's voice dropped to a low, menacing tone. You can't keep me away from Finn forever, Steffi. He's my son. And one way or another, I'll be part of his life again. Steffi's hand trembled as she hung up the phone, her entire body shaking with rage. Finn and Ridge stood by, watching her, waiting for her to speak. Sheila's not done with us, Steffi finally said, her voice barely above a whisper. She's coming back. And this time. I don't know how we'll stop her. Finn wrapped his arms around Steffi, pulling her close. We'll stop her, Steffi. Together. Whatever it takes. But as Steffi rested her head against Finn's chest, she couldn't shake the feeling that Sheila's release was only the beginning of another nightmare.